This is the brand new Toyota Pro Ace electric medium van. And we've been invited by Toyota to come down to their press facility in Crawley to take a closer look at it. And that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm gonna get behind the wheel of it. I'm gonna take it for a test drive and you're gonna be right there with me. So let's go take a closer look. Now, before we get going, I sincerely hope you enjoy this video. And if you do, don't forget to like it, subscribe to the channel and click that bell to get notified whenever we post new content just like this. And if you are in the market for a brand new van, car or pickup truck, don't forget to head to vanorama.com and check out the leasing deals. Now, with no further ado, let's get stuck in and take a look at the Toyota Pro Ace Electric. Oh boy, here I go reviewing again. Driving the Toyota Pro Ace Electric feels very much like driving any of the other PSA Group medium van platform sharers. It's very familiar, it feels like a home from home, and I'm a big fan, I am a big fan. And of course it comes with the added bonus of being completely electric now. So that smooth Toyota Pro Ace ride is now even smoother, even more quiet in the front of the Toyota Pro Ace Electric. It's also really compelling. Like the Vivaro E, which I called probably the best electric van proposition for anyone looking to get their feet on the electric ladder, it has a range of over 200 miles on a full charge. Now that is really compelling when you sit in a category where other vans have sometimes as little as 80 miles in the tank, the battery. Got to start calling it the battery. But the one thing I really don't like is when people say that this van just looks like all of the others. And I think that's completely dead wrong because actually I think this van is really good looking because it is a good looking van. I mean, just look at it. It's got the badge in the middle. It's got chrome. It's got some tough, durable black plastic. It's got a nice kind of snub nosed bonnet, a sweeping windscreen. I mean, are you actually going to stand there and argue with me that this isn't a good looking vehicle? And I want to get back onto the range because I do think that is one of the most important things about this vehicle. In a category where some medium vans have less than 80 miles range, the fact that this, the Toyota Pro Ace Electric and several other vans that share the same platform as it are capable of ranges of over 200 miles should put them to the top of your list of, if I'm going to choose an electric van, it's going to be one of these. And all of that is down to the battery. And where does the battery sit? Well on the bottom of the vehicle. But let's just pretend it's under the bonnet. And what's under the bonnet? Well, here's all the information. Battery sizes, range, and charging times. The most important three things that you're gonna to need to know about any electric vehicle. Well, as I pull up to these traffic lights, it gives me another moment to sort of touch on one of the areas where a van has to make sense. Vans have to be practical. Toyota Pro Ace Electric doesn't lose any of the Pro Ace's practicality and nor should it, and nor should anyone have expected it to, because it's basically just the same van, but with a new drivetrain, or powertrain, as they like to call it in the electric world. And therein lies the rub. A good van has to have a good loading bay, because of course this is a toolbox on wheels. And I think the PSA Group platform sharers might have one of the best loading bays on the market. From the side, it looks perfectly functional and perfectly practical. The side sliding door this side and side sliding door on the other one too. Very nice. Let's take a look at the back because the back end, well, it's the most important end. So let's open it up. 50-50 split doors, opening up to normal 90 degrees. Undo the locks and out they open to 180 degrees or thereabouts. Now, all the dimensions are gonna start whizzing around me right now. You're gonna have height, length, width between the arches as well. As you can see, this particular version is not ply lined, but then who cares, it's a trial model. It looks absolutely fantastic. I've always said that the loading bays of these particular line of medium bands are excellent. There may not be height options, but actually you're probably gonna find that the cubic meter volumes are pretty competitive. Also the payloads, they're superb. And even in the electric version, they've managed to maintain a very decent payload. So what's not to like? Anyway, let's get this shut up, head around the other side. And before I head into the cabin, I just wanted to double down on what I said earlier. Yes, there are two side sliding doors because a great loading bay is great, 
But do you know what's better or greater? A really accessible loading bay. And that's what the Toyota Pro's electric has. There is one last thing I want to show you though. Just here at the front on the left hand side of the vehicle, there are your charging ports. That's what proves that this vehicle truly is a product of the 21st century. I tell you what, it's really nice to get out on the road with the Toyota Pro Ace Electric. The drive is smooth and controlled and it just feels really nice to drive. It's effortless. It's like driving the best automatic car you've ever driven. Because it just, it, I mean, it just, it doesn't even hug the road. It just glides over the top of it. And there's not really too much noise from the motors. There's the odd sort of whine noise every now and then that you know you kind of gives you that indication that you are in an electric vehicle. But other than that, there's actually not too much noise from the road or from the tires. So the baffling and the sound dampening that they've obviously put into the cabin is really working because I, I can't really hear anything. There's the odd tire rumble. You might be able to pick it up. Rumble, 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 rumble. No, that was just my stomach. See, it's that quiet. A nice drive is one thing, but a nice drive is usually accompanied by comfort. And I have to say, the PSA Group platform sharers, and especially the Pro Ace Electric, they have very comfortable cabins, and they feel very spacious and roomy, which is not something you get with every van. So I do, I do think the Toyota and the other sharers, they do deserve their credit for very nice modern cabins with comfortable driving positions, high visibility, excellent windscreens, good amount of glass, you just never feel like you're going to lose your way. And that's really critical. It's nice to feel confident when you're driving. And I genuinely think the Toyota definitely seem confident with their interiors. It's comfortable. It's functional. It's filled with tech. Look, there's a screen. I mean, you know, it's absolutely filled with all the things that modern van users want. You need to be comfortable on long drives. You need to have function. You need to have practicality. And you need to have tech these days to make sure that your vehicle stays on the road and stays in one piece. And the great thing is that even though this van does share that PSA Group platform with all the other PSA Group platform sharing vans, it still feels identifiably different. Not least of which because it has the Toyota badge right there. Uh, and of course, you know, you look around the cabin, there's one trim level which is called Icon, which is uh, writing a check, I think, there. Let's hope that the rest of the vehicle can cash that check, which, by the way, it does. It's a really nice interior. I've got to say, the PSA Group platform sharing vans have some of the most spacious and comfortable cabins that I've sat in for a long time, and they do feel like modern van cabins. I know that sounds like a little bit of a weird thing to say, you know, calling something a modern van just because it's come out, but you look at some of the other vans available on the market, some of them, you know, they're about eight years old and some of them, their interiors are beginning to look a little bit tired. Not so here. As I said, the steering wheel is really nice, made of tough, durable plastic. It's a bit squidgy as well, which is nice. It means you can really grip hold of it. You've got your cruise control and speed limiter down here. You've got your media controls over here and you've also got your stalks in exactly the same place that you'll find them on any vehicle, not just Toyotas. The dashboard display is phenomenal. And here's the indication that this is an electric vehicle because of course there's no rev counter on here. There is simply a charge eco and power indicator on the right hand side which of course is showing whether you're regaining some power what kind of setting the vehicle is in at that point and also it gives you an indication of how much charge you've got left on the vehicle right in the middle of your speedo and that new electric charge reader you actually have a really nice driver information display which looks like it's actually been upgraded since the pro ace was first launched it now has a picture of the electric vehicle itself with the battery packs very clearly visible on this little picture down here it's really nice underneath that you got your range and the overall vehicle mileage. You've also got another charge indicator and you've also got a little indicator up the top which shows you whether or not you're driving efficiently, which is always nice to know when you're driving an electric vehicle. Um, storage, well, as you can see over here, we've got some cup holders up the top. We've also got the uh, good old PSA Group central bin in the top of the dashboard up here. And just below that is the infotainment system, which has been updated very, very nicely. And actually, looks a little bit clearer than some of the previous versions I've seen. Uh, it's all filled with all the stuff you'd expect, your car controls, audio controls, settings, media phone functions, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, and on and on the list goes. Underneath that, you've got climate controls, which of course are one of those things you're gonna have to watch out with your usage in an electric vehicle, because of course, they're the sorts of things that just drain your battery that little bit quicker. But don't panic, it's not like you turn on the air conditioning and suddenly you have 60 miles less range. That's not how it works. It's also a complete, mis yeah, it's a complete misrepresentation that um, if you're driving an electric vehicle in the rain, that it's suddenly going to electrocute you. That's not, it just doesn't happen. So stop thinking it's going to. Um, Mum, 
Uh, anyway, down there you've got a nice little storage cabin. Um, as you can see, Toyota have given us some lovely PPE. We've got a nice Toyota mask here. We've got some rubber gloves for me and Toby to have fun with later. And we've even got some nice anti-back with the keychain right there. Uh, to the left of that, we've got a USB socket, which of course is used for hooking your phone up directly and giving yourself some charge. And next to that is a nice 12 volt socket because who doesn't love a 12 volt? Below that is another indication that this is an electric vehicle. You've got a drive selector switch, and it, it really is a drive selector switch. You've got a drive mode switch here, which allows you to switch between different driving settings, like, you know, those cars that have kind of like sport, eco, stuff like that. These are different sort of tiers of economical electric driving. And then you've got your gear switch. Well, it's not even gears. It's just a drive switch. You either drive, reverse, or put it into neutral, or you press the parking button. Simple as that. Down here is where your handbrake is, and it's an electric car, so you get an electric handbrake. Super duper. Glove box is all here, and I've got to say, I do like the PSA Group glove boxes. I like the way the hatch comes up instead of opening like a sort of a, a kind of trough. Um, below that, you do have a sort of trough, though. You've kind of got, yeah, sort of an area with a lip, and right at the back, yeah, you've got another 12 volt socket and you've also got your airbag selector so you can turn the airbag on and off on the passenger side. Door storage is absolutely superb. I think in the front of the PSA Group vans, well, the groups that share the PSA Group van platform, I should stop saying that in a Toyota review because of course Toyota are not part of the PSA Group, they just share the platforms on which their vans are built. But their door storage, of course, comes with it. They are really generous, I mean really generous. You know when people say you could put a litre bottle in there but you could try and jam it in and you can't quite do it? You could fit two, three litre bottles in there? I'm not joking. There is some other stuff in here. Look, you've got some more storage under this seat right here. More than enough room for a Tesco sandwich or two. And one of my favourite areas, you've actually got a nice little mobile office. So this little armrest comes down, and of course you can use it as an armrest if you really want to, or the passengers, but if you twist this out, look at that. You've suddenly got your own little clipboard with a nice bungee strap for holding down any papers and paperwork, and you've even got a little storage area here for some secret chocolate bars if you are so inclined. That's definitely what I'd use it for. So there you go, Pro Ace Electric benefits from having the same cabin as all of the other vans that share the PSA Group platform, and I've got to say, it is one of my favourite. Uh, I do think that these are modern cabins filled with modern equipment for the modern driver. Overall, I'd rate the Toyota Pro Ace Electric a very positive vehicle for the sector. You've got Vauxhall, Citroen and Peugeot with their electric versions of effectively the same van. And it's easy to level stick at Toyota to say that it's just the same van. But what's important is it means something to Toyota. It's part of their professional brand. It's, it's made for workers. It's made for people who drive these vehicles every single day. They've put thought into it, they put care into it. They know what's gonna work. The fact is that they've put one trim level together called Icon, which just has all the things that a van driver's gonna need, and that's it. They know that it has to be no nonsense. They know that it, it has to have the things it needs and nothing else. So I feel you have to give them credit. They understand what it means to simplify the offering to a point where it's almost a no-brainer to pick it up. While the Toyota Pro Ace Electric may not ultimately be that much different from its sister vehicles, that's not the point. You go with the brand because you trust it and because you like what they're doing. And I think there are going to be plenty of people who find it very easy to move in their droves to electric thanks to the Toyota Pro Ace Electric. So in short, it's good looking, it's got a great payload, it's got a great brand behind it. I think the Toyota Pro Ace is destined to succeed. And I hope provide a bit of a wake-up call for the rest of the electric van sector.